Hello guys, welcome back to our World of Warcraft Warlock playthrough. Once again, we are continuing in Duskwood. We last part finished off basically this whole portion of Duskwood, so now we have to head out further. We also got two of the chapters finished last part, so now we have three to go. As always, our goal is to follow the storyline, read through the quests, and try explore the full area that we're in before we move on to a new one. We've so far done that for Westfall and Red Ridge, and Alwyn Forest mostly, um, so now we're doing that with Duskwood. I got a bad feeling. Lord Harris has sent me here to collect reagents. Our work cannot be delayed. Good day. Tobias is staying in town still. Master Harris warned him not to pursue this, his brother's fate. We all lead new lives now. After all, but the past is hard to let go of. Farewell. Ain't you a chipper looking one? Watch your back. I need large amounts of corpse weed for Master Harris's concoctions. It's difficult to obtain, but we can't let our supply dwindle. Corpse weed is tough stuff to tangle with. The plant will get you before you get it, if you're not careful. We'll eagerly pay you any you gather. Okay, Jorgen Steed, and we'll get some pretty good braces. Keep your chin up, eh? We are bound by a common enemy. My kinsmen at Ravenhill are concerned with curing the feral worgen in these forests. The condition itself cannot be lifted, but sanity can be restored to those not too far gone. While most here have proven beyond help, we keep an eye out for those that retain vestiges of their minds, attachments to their old lives. I've seen a lone worgen lurking in the Jorgen farmstead, digging in a pile of dirt between the buildings. Would you check out that pile and see if he's left anything? You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. Well met. Hail Warlock, care to lend a hand for the people of Darkshire? There's a huge ogre mound just down the hill. The Splinterfest ogres usually keep to themselves, but they've got a bad habit of attacking travellers. Just the other day, I saw one drag off a poor man's horse for food. He was lucky it left him behind. The Night Watch want to only risk its few members in the defence of more immediate threats, me included. But if you kill some of these ogres for me, I'll pay you for your Wait, deed. You. Alrighty. Now we got a bunch to do in one spot, which is always good. We'll do this side first, and then we'll move on to the other. Oh, it's a plant. That's cool. I was expecting it to be something we had to pick up, but given the description, I probably should have known it was actually a mob.
not entirely sure what that was meant to do. Knock us over and then leave, I guess. I need to target something first. I love the music in Duskward as well. It's just so like airy. What can I do for you? Let the light of the new moon guide you. I thank you, Warlock, and I'm sure the Worgen that may be returned to sanity with the potion this will make would thank you too. That's enough gabbing for me today. You ran off without harming you further. You might be still fighting it. Long live Greymane. Master Harris will want to know if this immediately. Let the light of the new moon guide you. Ah, so that's taking us down to Raven Hill. Very creepy, the They're meant to be skin. I can't tell if it's meant to be or just sort of look like a scarecrow, but it reminds me of as if it would be skin. Which is a very creepy thing to to initially think of. It's probably just made of leaves. I don't I don't know. <laughs> The gear we're getting for our enchanting is already like the gear that we're disenchanting for our enchanting is already giving us stuff that's a bit too high level for the skill we're at, which is kind of a pain. We might have to do some auction house purchases to level us up enough. Just hoping to avoid, but I think that kind of always happens in terms of leveling professions. Especially, I'm assuming, with Cataclysm and the level scaling because we can't just really go back to a low level spot to get lower gear because it's going to level, it's going to scale to our level, right? So, yeah. Although, no, to be fair, just thinking about it, we can make the lower level tailoring stuff because we've already kind of outleveled the linen in terms of tailoring, but we can make the greens and then disenchant them for our enchanting. Ordered, we've got a plan. try head for his crate first and then we'll get the monocle and then we'll start filling the rest of them as required.
I always manage to pick, I think, the long way in the caves. Never quite mastered knowing the best route. That way, that's a dead end, I think. I think this way. I require a target. Okay, we're definitely going to get enough of these guys killed before we even find the monocle. I think we would be able to avoid aggroing the other guy. We do have to hand in back in Duskwood, Darkshire. We have a little bit of running around to do. Nice work. Here's your reward on behalf of the Night Watch. Be careful. Perfect. I think we'll half back and then maybe fly. I'm hoping that we have that flight path. If not, we're just going to be running. able to convince Zarkvald to lend us his monocle? <laughs> For the I guess. Stargazing device is complete, thank you. <clears throat> now I can continue my research. Finger. Also really good pants. We've only got one ring, but I want it. Go with honor, friend.
Hello. Give it to me quickly. Have a good one. Well, thank you. You have more than earned your reward. Happy nights ahead. Safe travels. Out here, out here on the outskirts of town, it's a wonder the Walking Dead haven't eaten me. In fact, just yesterday, a pack of ghouls was pounding on the walls of my tower. I want to make an effigy, a kind of scarecrow for ghouls. To do that, I need some ghoul ribs. You can find plenty of them on the fetid corpses wandering Manor Mismantle's grounds north of Darkshire. Get the ribs for me and I'll repay you in some coin. Hmm. I thought that was going to be the last portion of his quest, but apparently not. Easy as that. <coughs> mm. At least I know we can take on two mobs at once. Wonder if we can do more than that. In an efficient way. I would like to add, not just nearly dying or anything. What can I do for you? I'm sure you could find plenty of ribs in Raven Hill as well, but you might not want to wander so far at night. See you later. This will do just the trick. See you around. Take this note to the mayor of Darkshire. He and I are old friends, and when he reads it and discovers what you did for me, I'm sure he'll be just as happy as Safe I am. Travels. I'm definitely glad we came back to town to finish these quests off because once we get to the other end, I think we'll be staying there, at least for the most part. That is assuming that everything is still reasonably similar to the way Classic worked. As far as I can tell so far it seems pretty much the same, but I definitely, definitely could be wrong. It feels more similar than the other two have so far at least. What can I do for you? Light bless you. You fool, you've doomed us all. Be careful. You're not the first fool to be manipulated by Abercrombie. That dodgering old man is known as the embalmer to us. He's a vile necromancer and a blight upon this town. And now, sewn together and given life by the very materials you brought him, his horrible creation approaches. Oh, stitches. That hideous creature will be upon us in mere moments. If you have any heart, it'll help the Night Watch drive off the abomination and save our town. Honor, friend. Okay, I never knew we were the ones that helped create Stitches. I remember in the last portion I was talking to you guys about how, oh gosh, 
Um, he used to wander the, the... Oh my god, everything's on fire. What did we do? <gasps> Sky! Oh my gosh. I was saying in the last part how he used to just wander the road. Um, and would just pop up out of nowhere. And kill you. So I'm guessing this is... Just as I was saying, there haven't been many changes. Here are some changes. He is horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. And we helped create him. Honor, friend. Thank the light he's gone. I'll say you've earned amends by helping save the lives of those here. For the Alliance. Hermit's errand. New talent point. I think we we're going to go with this one. That's really cool. So basically we need to try refresh them just as they're about to drop off. Temporarily increases current and maximum health for 30 seconds for 30 percent for 20 seconds. Auto cast. Undeniability, right, so that doesn't need to be on a toolbar. Okay, so now we just need to go to Raven Hill. See if we can fly. I really wish I had screenshotted us killing stitches now because it would have made the best thumbnail. Need help? <gasps> we don't. Dang it. Be uh, oh, actually, do we? Was that one? Hello. No, it's Centennial. See you okay. around. I guess we're running. I'm curious what the storyline was previously in Classic then, if in this version we helped create him, then he couldn't have existed unless you'd done these quests. It is why I really love playing through this way now and reading everything. Just to have a little bit of understanding of what is going on in each town makes such a difference to the overall enjoyment of the game, I think. At least for me. And I'm, I'm assuming for you guys, otherwise you wouldn't be watching. Thankfully, having a mount at level 20, well, level 10, fast amount at level 20 means this run doesn't actually take as long as it would have previously. I'm also curious if we're going to get sent in here at all. I don't think you did in Classic. I think this was like a, it was like impossible to get to. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, because there's like a 95% chance that I am, honestly. I just don't remember ever going in there. Previously. First off, definitely want to get this flight path.
What brings you out this way, my good lady? Welcome to our humble camp. I wouldn't call it pleasant, but at least it's somewhat private. A wagon at the farm. What we do here is not a cure. The transformation cannot be removed once inflicted, but the mind, the mind can be restored through alchemy. If enough is left intact. This wagon you've encountered sounds like he's fighting to stay aware. We've got to find him again. If he's fled the Jorgen steed, search the Adel steed to the south. He may be lurking in one of the buildings. Inject him with this am ampule, ampule? To tranquilize him, you'll need to be quite close. Good day to you. Master Harris requires more reagents for his serums. He has me gather them for him. Oh, jitters. Most of it's not so bad. Have a good one. Oops. Most of it's not so bad. I mean, the corpse weed is pretty bad, but it's not as bad as the widow venom. Have you seen the widows around here? The hatchlings are the size of a man. Even with a gun, I can't stand to go hunting them. It's just too terrifying. If you'll go do it for me, I'll gladly pay you. Just bring me back some widow venom. No. What's your story? That's enough gabbing for me today. This is a tragic land with a history of violence and despair. While many of the dead roam in the flesh, some are simply lost souls wandering in confusion. They deserve to be put at ease. Many of these souls gather at the Adelstead to the south, appearing before travellers. Take the censer of holy essence, incense. Weigh it before the four lord spirits and let the offering of its gentle scent give them peace. Good day. Long live Greymane. Several years ago, Stormwind's captain brought a brigade into Stranglethorn Vale on a mission whose details are still murky. Curzon swiftly descended into madness as did his men, except for a few rebels who made it their mission to undo the evils that Curzon had wrought. As I said, that was years ago. I'm now hearing rumours that Curzon is dead, but these rebels still persist at their rebellion. If you wish to investigate, you'll find them at the camp on Stranglethorn's north border. Farewell. Okay, we are not, we're just gonna untrack that for now because we're not going there until much later. I guess we'll go south first and then we'll go up this way. I need to do it to the yellow ones, of course. I cannot use that item yet. Where that got one of them. Maybe I didn't have it um, targeted. I guess that makes a difference. Maybe.
Oh, hello. Lurking Morgan. Oh, do I have to do this to him? Yeah. Almost thought we were going to accidentally kill him there for a second. Any friend of Greymane's a friend of mine. Be proud. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. We've got him. No time to lose then. We'll prepare to administer the serum right away. Jitters get ready. I'm hopeful, but let's remain professional. It's business as usual for this one. Into the guillotine he goes, and if the alchemy doesn't take, he won't be getting back out of it. Goodness me. Jitters and I will attend to this. Please just stand back and watch from a safe distance. How, like, dodgy he looks doing that. Oh, and he's out. Remember now, it's all your fault. You brought the worgen to Duskwood, you led the Dark Riders to my farm and hid while they murdered my family. should kill you. Jitters, jitters. Naughty, naughty. Finally, I can't thank you enough for giving me the chance to work the cure myself. Our new friend may be in need of some help as well. You might want to speak with him. What did we get? Oh, an offhand. Amazing, because we have this that I'd been wanting to use, and now we can use this. To be fair, the other thing was better, but we're going to give this a go for a second. Before I was lost to the woods, the last thing I remember is Morbent Fell. He was a vile necromancer, and the reason this land swarms with so many vile undead. I asked an adventurer to help me put an end to him. I thought they did, but Sister Alzington tells me the land still crawls with ghouls and spectres ripped from the grave. Morbent Fell should have breathed his last in the house of Forlorn Row, north of Raven Hill Cemetery. Go there and see what's become of him. Well, we know that's one of our next chapters, so that's great. Yes? Still 20 ghouls. Can you hear them? There's so many of them. They wander their graves, shuffling across the cold ground on rotting limbs. The dead cry out in the still air. They suffer in their own flesh, forced from sleep. Every night I venture to the graveyard to put more of them to rest, but it's never enough. Help me put the goals that swarm Ravenhill Cemetery out of their misery. Strike down as many as you can. Keep your chin up, eh? So we're going all in this direction. We'll get the spiders first. Just because they're a little bit off to the side. And then we'll pop down to the cemetery. That was weird. I'm out of range. Mm. 
Why did I keep disappearing and reappearing? Also, I want to have a little pet out. Little creepy bat. Seems very appropriate. A is a warlock and B in dustwood. I must get closer. Too far away. Cobwebs and stuff is so creepy. Ugh. Honestly, no one to Jitters didn't want to do this because no thank you. Perfect. We'll head towards Morbent Fell first. We have a lot of things to kill and I'm sure that they will um, be along the way. I wonder if we can actually manage three. Let's see if we can manage three. Look at us, and I really should have soul stoned before attempting that. Luckily, it turned out fine, but I always forget that I can do that. We need to be aware of her. Or more Ladim? More Ladam? More Ladim? Whatever her name is. Uh, need to be wary of her. 29 Elite. She's headed right towards where we need to go. She's obviously important because she is one of the chapters. I'm assuming the last one, given we're already working on Morbin Fell.
Oh, eyes in the bushes. Duskwood is so creepy. And I love it. I do not have a target. Not sure where she went, but I'm hoping it's very far away. Another place down there. I'm pretty sure there's a, a camp or something down there. That noise is horrifying. of Morbin fell, blood soaked hat. Very purple. Very pretty. Okay, this isn't what I thought it was, because like I said, I thought there was a camp down here, but maybe that's further around? Ah! Where the grave marker reads simply, Morgan Lattimore. Upon further examination, you notice that dirt over the grave has been recently disturbed, and that a good amount of the dirt seems to have been displaced. Okay. Oh gosh, run away. Here's a coming. Check over this way because we haven't explored this portion. And then we'll run up and kill the rest of the guys. I guess like here. Yep. Or at least it was. Why am I not mounted? Yeah, here we go. Oh. Okay, it used to be a camp. And now it's got grey brothers. Ooh. Oh my gosh, please don't die. Arnak, don't die.
Come on here. There we go. Come on you. Seven more. Yay, something else that's better than what we have. <clears throat> I'm sort of wanting to move back towards the camp so we can avoid. Um, scary elite lady much as possible before she comes back around these ways. Oh my god, what is that? Morbidious. I'm sure he's going to come into something later. We're gonna steer clear of him for now. Also, he is huge. Here yeah, she is coming back. back and hand in away from all these creepy dead things get tamer just saying You a chipper looking one. Light bless you. Watch your back. Hey there. See you later. Thank you. You've saved me from having to go out in those woods with those awful things, at least for a day. Have a good one. I'm afraid that, well, I'm just plain afraid, but I'm also sorry to have to ask for another favor. Master Harris needs brains, bare brains. They're part of the serum, apparently, or at least a proper substitute. There's plenty of black bears in the woods to the west and along the riverbank, but I can't do it. I'm too terrified to go out there and face those huge things, even with a rifle. See you later. It's Fen. It's clothes and bloodstains. If it's not tricks, it's something worse. The others here share my suspicion. Morbent Fowl lives on in undeath, and maybe even more powerful than before. A necromancer was struck down, but a, a leech may have risen in his place and now he continues to ruin this land i remember duskwood before all this i remember bright skies and peaceful woods this can't stand morbid fell must be stopped for good speak to sister elsington her vision might guide you to where morbid fell is and how he can be defeated i got a bad feeling it's heartening to see one so recently recovered can 
be so concerned with the plight of others. Sven spares himself suffering by not dwelling on his own misfortune. Let the light of the new moon guide you. Ben is correct. I can feel the presence of a powerful evil deep beneath the Raven Hill Cemetery. Evil lurks in its catacombs, and Morbid Fowl must be the source. You will need the power of the light to strike him down. Sven told me the heroes who first slew Morbid Fowl wielded an artifact of light forged iron imbued with holy power. That artifact is still here. I can feel it as well, a glimmer of light amongst the darkness. Search Raven Hill for it and let the light guide you through it. We are bound by a common enemy. Ooh. I feel like this is a really good place to stop for today because there is clearly quite a lot left still to do with these quests and I don't want to rush through the ending of it because that's when these storylines tend to get really good. So we will close up for now and we will jump back in super soon. Thank you so much if you're still watching and